Okay, so I made my first, uh, well, it's not really, that's kind of a fixture, but it's not a, a precision fixture. Um, this one is just going to be uh, the part I need to make will have four holes in it, and this is just held down with two pocket clips. And the idea is this one will just be for accurately drilling the positions of the holes. And I'm going to base the coordinates of those holes off my XY. Now again, Z's not important because I'm just drilling holes, no lateral forces, just drill, nothing fancy. And I'm using my uh, old-fashioned, I don't have a probe, probe would be nice, but I'm going to use my old-fashioned, uh, what do you call it, the uh, edge finder, edge, well it's an edge and center finder, but I'm using the edge finder. So, and then I can set my X and Y and do the drilling. So let's start the spindle. And I'm just going to move. I've got it stepping in 1,000 increments right now. So let's find the edge. That's it right there. Okay, so now I know, let's see, stop the spindle. And that center thing uh, is 200 thou wide, so now I know I'm at minus uh, 100 on the X, and I'll do the same thing and set the Y. Now I'm just set up on the Y to do the same thing, so I'm stepping it at 1 thou. And that's it. Let's try it again. Right there. So now I know that's minus uh, 100,000 on the Y. After putting my, uh, uh, my offsets for X and Y, I had them at minus 100, minus 100 for where I um, contacted with my edge finder. Then I lifted the Z and I jogged so that both the X and Y are now zero. So the center of my spindle should now be exactly at the corner of my fixture, which is exactly what I want. So now I'm going to go back and work out the G-code for drilling uh, where I want the holes based off this X, Y. I think for just my single part fixtures, I'm just going to base everything off X, X and Y zero right there. That makes the most sense to me. And the idea here is that I stick a piece of brass in, drill four holes, pull it out, stick a piece of brass in, drill four holes, pull it out, and I mean, the, the tolerance on these parts for liners is, you know, it, as long as this is within five foul, I'm, I'm golden, so I'm just going to test a few and then run a whole bunch if it works. All right, thanks guys. All right, I'm set up for my very first operation, uh, drilling operation, well, any operation. Uh, ever. Um, I think I put all the parameters in correct. Um, I did speed and feed calculations. I'm just, I didn't bother going to the higher RPM right now, so I just max put the, at the max at the low end, which is 4,500 RPM. I'm at two inches per minute, which is recommended with this size of carbide drill. And it's a 2.2 millimeter hole. And when I hit go, it should uh, do, I think, three or four pecs per hole and drill four holes total and then I will match it up with the liner that I'm actually making and see if it works so here goes nothing <laughs> Of course, then I have to see if I actually measured it right. <laughs> okay, now I gotta take it out and check. So the idea with this was, it's such low force, I just wanted, well I guess that's held in there tighter than I thought. One, I didn't want to have screws to put in and out every time. Oh, look at that. 
little holes. Now, where's my... Hold on, I'll go find a piece. And... So this is actually the liner I'm making. Uh, these are just aluminum liners on normal Swiss Army knives. And uh, a lot of people like brass. Some of the most common combo I do is titanium scales and brass liners. So this first op was just drilling. I, I know I'm taking baby steps here to getting a, a final, you know, automated solution. But to, for me, this is this feels like I don't know. Watching it drill all these holes by without me having to do anything felt like cheating almost. So you could see those. Those are the four holes it drilled, and they do line up. Exactly. So it's probably hard to see on camera, but now the so the inner and of course doing a lot of this stuff is is metric based too. So these holes are two point two on the inside, and the outside actually need to be two point five. But uh, I didn't really feel like having two drilling operations, and just having them located will be fine. And so the so next I'll I've got I think seventy of these to drill out. And then I'm going to make another fixture that I can probably stack two or three on and then like stack a few of these up and then have a, a larger bit go around and, and do all the profiling. And that should be my first part. Very exciting. Thanks, guys. Uh, I just I wanted to put the uh, actual pins through so I could see that there's no binding and everything lined up correctly. And um, it's good to go. So now I'm going to do my drilling op some more and then switch to the profiling op. Let's try this for a workflow. So I have a whole bunch of uh, 1x4 rectangles of... Um, I use cartridge brass C260. Awesome stuff for liners. So let's see. We pop this in. Yeah, that fits fine. And the, those clips did hold it down very well. They're, they're quite strong. So I'll pop it in, hit go. <laughs> this feels like I'm cheating. I don't, I'm used to having to put liners on for guides and drill that way and wow. <laughs> it's gonna be quite the game changer once I'm all dialed in. Then comes off. Oh, it does come off nice. Holes are perfect. <laughs> awesome.